I don't know if they're kind of bringing that uh, garagey bluesy sound back. Uh, that could be cool. That could be cool. You know, Rubber Factory was a really dope record. Um, and, uh, you know, that era of the Black Keys is certainly my favorite. And uh, while I'm generally more for, uh, you know, going forward, um, you know, I, I think uh, the Black Keys are really just kind of a, a, ru a rustic, you know, old school kind of soul group. You know, if, if they kind of hang in that area, for me, that's fine, because who these days is doing that? You know, even even the white stripes aren't around anymore to to bring that garagey bluesy sound. So why the hell not? Presuming that uh, what I've heard is true. So uh, again, Crawling King Snake is the title of the this new one. Uh, let's uh, I know I got the edited version, uh, which I'm fine with. Uh, I just kind of want to get a taste of the song and see how it goes. Uh, but bam. <laughs> Man, that, that track just just fizzled out of nowhere. It's just decided random. Okay, we're over. It's it's over now. The drums just kind of stumbled, and then the guitar's like, whoa, whoa. Okay. And at, at least it resolved okay. <laughs> okay. As, as someone said in chat, uh, which uh, everyone on YouTube doesn't know yet, uh, some bastard in chat said that this track was uh, sounding like the intro to an episode of Pawn Stars, which... Yeah, the, the moment that was said, you wrecked it. You really ruined it. You wrecked it. You made it impossible for anyone to even get a smidge of enjoyment out of it, and you're a terrible person, and I hope that you feel bad. Uh, but still, having said that, um, look, I thought the drums and guitar sounded good, and as I'd heard from other people, it did kind of bring back that old-school, raw, bluesy, garagey sound. That made Black Keys so compelling to begin with on Rubber uh, Factory, on Thick Freakness. Um, you know, I, I like that vibe. It's back. It's back in spades. Some of those guitar leads were quite nice. Uh, the drums were sounding good. You know, the one thing that was not really translating for me was the tune was just okay. And honestly, out of uh, the whole Black Keys discography, I think this was one of Dan's weaker vocal performances. This was not a strong vocal performance from Dan. Dan has had better days vocally on older Black Keys records. And I don't really know if it's a matter of him having it or not having it anymore. It just didn't really sound like he was uh, really trying to put much into it. You know, it, it sounded uh, on the vocal side, uh, sounded pretty sleepy. You know, I did like the groove and I did like the vibe of uh, the guitars and drums again. But, geez, I played the edited version and that is four minutes. The actual version of this thing, which I'm sure there's more added to it, but I can't imagine this at six minutes. I cannot imagine this thing at six entire minutes because, like, you know, even at the point that I had heard it, it sounded like it had kind of overstated its welcome, honestly. And again, mostly because the vocals are so plainly uninteresting. So... <clears throat> I think that's really uh, the bulk of what I have to say about it. Uh, again, it would be cool to hear, uh, you know, the Black Keys go back to a somewhat old school sound, I suppose. But, um, you know, that may be kind of uh, said and done at this point. I mean, especially if uh, we're not going to get any good vocal performances out of it. You know, I, I think the Black Keys were in a really good spot when they dropped Brothers because... Not only did that record feel bluesy, but it felt more modern, it was thicker, it was more layered, it felt like everything that was true to their old school sound, but it was built up a little bit more, and it was a bit more robust sonically and instrumentally. Um, no, I understand, cover album, I understand, but, um, uh, you know, listen, uh, uh, but uh, uh, listen, um, sorry, I got distracted by chat there, I'm having a brain fart here looking at chat and trying to talk at the same time but but uh you know still I, th I thought on brothers they had like a nice uh, you know balance with their sound uh but here it kind of seems like they're stripping it back which again is fine but uh there's just a lack of really a uh, charisma there uh that's uh i think making it just sound a little bland so eh, just a little uh, uh met on it just kind of on the fence with it i suppose 
Thank you very much for watching this New Music Friday stream clip over on TND Streams. To see future New Music Fridays, hit up our Twitch page at twitch.tv slash the needle drop. To see some past ones, hit up our Patreon page linked near me or down below in the description. Also get some bonus monthly content in the process too over there. And yeah, see you guys in the next clip forever.